you get people coming around and going, I didn't know, I didn't know. So I spend an awful lot of my time educating um, Canadians about their own history. It's, it's ironic, isn't it? Here's Gabriella Prinkup. You don't know. He's the guy who sparked the First World War. Hi, my name's Kevin Hicks. I now live in Saskatoon, but I'm actually English born and I'm a retired British soldier and a police officer from just outside of London who has become somewhat of a historian. We were given some bullets recently. Nowadays I can lecture on the Roman army to the rise of Hitler. I ended up for quite a long time in Belfast at the height of the troubles in Northern Ireland, which it just changes you forever. It's left a stain on my soul, what I saw there. And then I was sent out to Cyprus. My best friend, unfortunately, was killed. And uh, I thought, it's, I've had enough of the army. I've done me nine years plus. My family had been coming to Canada for well over 100 years in dribs and drabs. And I never thought I'd, I'd ever leave England. But my eldest son, after he'd finished in the armed forces, he, Afghanistan and all of that, he settled here for better work, better life. And uh, we used to come just to visit him. And uh, we just fell in love with Saskatoon. I came to join the Legion, and somebody upstairs said, have you been downstairs? So I came down, and straight away I thought this would be a place where I could, uh, I could feel at home. And that's the thing with the old PTSD, isn't it? I'm safe down here, I feel at home. It's kind of a movie from my past and you forget that you were that guy. My wife and I both volunteer at the uh, Saskatoon Museum of Military Artifacts and the, the two biggest things in there is the First and the Second World War. But this is a perfect trench. If you look at the uh, photographs, especially of Passchendaele, the trenches weren't as good as this, but it's a fantastic representation just picking out the individuals and we make sure that memory stays alive and that's my kick that's what I get out of it <laughs> why why this is the thing why I just told you that's killed thousands of Canadians and Brits too and whenever we talk about the weapons like you know some of the German pistols of the war they say wow this is incredible I say yeah how many children did it shoot through the back of the head and that's my angle is kind of deglorifying it. And I hate it. I really do. My uncle Albert was killed in Normandy. It was machine gunned down. My uncles, grandparents who survived the Second World War, used to sit around the fire and talk about what they'd been through. And I'd be sat on the knee and I'd be listening. Then I would listen to my father when he was in the army. I think a calendar is one thing, it's complacent. And uh, it shouldn't be. It's a wonderful country and it's got an awful lot to offer. And I sometimes feel like, you know, you want to shake somebody sometimes and wake up to what really is going on in the world. These guys from the First World War, they didn't know what shell shock was. They could see it all around them. I had a most incredible opportunity out on the Somme battlefield. I was doing something for the uh, British Legion. I was in full First World War gear educating people as to what had happened on the battlefield. And a coach pulls up a great big bus and it's got 11 old men on it who were actually fought on the Somme. The leader of them stood up and he shook my hands and he says, thank you. And then he threw his arms around me and he hugged me tight and he whispered in my ears. And he says, we'll all be dead soon, but it's people like you, you, Kevin, you're not gonna forget this, are you? You're not gonna let it rest. And I says, oh no. The reason we've got this freedom now is because of those guys. We're here by the grace of other people. We don't ask much for new civilians except one thing. If we are killed, remember us. If we are wounded, take care of us. If we go back to 1917, this time of year, we had the big offensive over Passchendaele. The first few days, it was fantastic. We were rolling up the Germans, but then it rained, and it continuously rained for months. 